Hello, welcome to the third installment of making a Doctor Who notebook, the Madam K way. So my books have been um, setting for two days. Overnight usually is good enough, but I didn't get a chance to get to them yesterday, so they dried for two days. Notice they have a little bit of a, a stiffness from where the, they were wet and dried out, and that gives them that, that shape. I formed it around the, the wood board, so it's got that binding shape to it, which I tried to kind of flatten out. A little bit and now what I'm going to do first is I'm going to slick out the edges it might be a little hard to see but the edges are are pretty rough they're not they're not smooth at all so I want to smooth those out and give them a nice finish so to do that I'm going to use some EcoFlow um, burnishing agent pretty cheap at Tandy Leather and I have my burnishing tool uh, which you can get one of these for about five or seven dollars, but I actually found them on eBay for about a dollar a piece. And this little tool I use to apply the the burnishing stuff to the edge. You want to be careful not to smear it on the book itself because whatever it touches, it does have a habit of taking a little bit of dye off. So to use a small paddle is going to really help keep it on the edge. Um, this is actually just a, what is it, like a shrimp fork or something? Some sort of cocktail thing that out of the kitchen supplies at the Dollar Tree. So no need spending a lot of money on that. All you need is something that has that paddle shape and a little bit of curve to it kind of helps. So I'm going to scoop just a little bit on the edge and just start with one edge. Try to get... And I'm just going to start carefully dragging it up the edge of the, the binding, or the edge of the book. Just keeping a little bit of an angle so that way it doesn't spill off the paddle too much, but just enough to coat the edges. And this really helps guide it so you can see how where it's darker just on the edge. So you get a nice, a nice line with that. And I pretty much just coat it until it looks very dark in color. So that way we know it's it's nice and coated on all parts. You can see how. There's some blue on there, so that's the dye coming off. I'm going to take my slicker. I'm going to use the size that fits the leather the best, which for me is this, this first one right here. I'm just going to rub it and use some friction on it to help smooth it out. So I do this in a two-part step. So we'll see the, the second part after I get done slicking out all of the edges. And I'll just go straight onto it and then just turn it a couple different ways so that way you can sort of feel that you're putting pressure on one side more than the other depending on how you fold it. So just make sure to balance that out and really even it out. Okay, so I'm going to just keep doing that and go around the entire edge of the whole book and I'll be back for step two. Okay, just to check back with that edge, you can see that it's a little bit shinier, glossier. It's still not done, um, but I'm done doing that edge with the slicker. You can see where it's lighter blue, those are places where it didn't completely smooth out. But where it's darker blue, that's not because it's wet. That's, that's smooth, it almost gets like a, a rubbery finish. I start off slow with the slicker and then start to get faster and faster as it starts to wear down. So don't overdo it right at first. Really work up to getting that friction to smooth it out. Um, the other thing I forgot to mention, and this is very important with this step, is you can now drink your wine. I don't like to try to drink wine during the first few steps because there's a lot of uh, focus involved. But now at this part, this is going to be time consuming and tedious, but there's not a lot of thought behind it. So pour yourself a glass of wine and put on a TV show because it's going to take about an hour. Okay, so I did all the edges and they're, 
they're pretty smooth now, but there's definitely still some rough patches where they're getting that glossy, like smooth look. It's not consistent. So we want to get that to be more consistent. And these edges, for some reason, just weren't smoothing out completely. So that's our, our base to it. I'm going to apply just a little bit more of the burnishing stuff. And what I have here is a Dremel attachment. So my Dremel actually has a burnishing attachment that I found on either eBay or Amazon. But you can look up a slicking or burnishing Dremel tool and you'll find something, an attachment that's something like this. It's a, I don't know if it's wood or just a really hard plastic and it goes into the, the Dremel just like anything. This is just a small Dremel wand or for etching. I'm gonna use about a medium speed and just use that to smooth out the edges the rest of the way. Okay, so this is just getting a start. What you saw me do was move the book around in certain ways to where the book was just applying natural pressure against one of the sides of the slicker. So that way it was hitting the top, the bottom, and across the top here. Um, so you just move that around and just keep paying close attention. And as you see it get darker and glossy looking, then just move on. Don't overdo it. Don't apply too much pressure because what you'll get is like a smashing down of the leather that you'll see start to cur curve all over the back. Um, so just use a, a light touch and just let the weight of the, the tool itself just push down on it. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and do the rest of the sides and I'll be back.